Hi all. So in this video I'm going to go over um, getting started with the 11s game um, and uh, implementing a method that will check for jack, queen, and king being in the nine cards uh, that you have face, face up, so to speak, in your hand in this game. So um, I based, I, I stole a lot of code from war game because it's why not right it's already done so war game uh declares some player objects we don't need that i don't need that because i'm not having uh i'm having basically the computer play so i don't need those um some local some card variables i don't need those um but the deck, I do need a deck of cards. I do need an array list of type card, just one. I don't need this Boolean. Um, so I, this is the constructor for War Game. So I copied a lot of, especially this stuff, which right creates the deck and shuffles it, copied right over directly. Uh, and so now let's go look at what I have for 11s. So I import Java Util list and array list, and uh, <clears throat> I uh, I declare a deck called the deck, and I call I declare a, an array list of card called cards. I um, I'm a boolean game over, and I have some fields here uh, boolean fields for jack, queen, and king, and they're set to false at the beginning because we want them to start off that way. Here's the constructor for 11s. I say game over equal to false. Um, I could have done that up above too, but I just did it here in this case. Um, I actually declare the new array list of cards. I mean, I sorry, I, I make it. I declared it up above. Um, this is the initialization to create a deck of cards. I make a new deck of cards and then I shuffle that deck. All right, so at this point I've got a an array list for the hand and, the, and a shuffled deck. So we come down to play game. This is preliminary, right? This is going to evolve as I get closer to a working game. I'm not worried about exactly what the working game structure is yet. I just want to, I'm going to take this piece by piece. Um, so I've got a, um, a loop that uh, fills the hand from the deck. The deck class has a deal method, which um, you can go look at that. That's from back before when we, dealt, when we made the deck class. Just um, pulls the top card off the deck, so to speak. Notice I'm using this, this uh, this and in my for statement here. So uh, this is just here because eventually um, the deck size is going to be, um, we're going to empty it out. And for testing purposes, I didn't want it to crash when that happens. I just wanted it to stop gracefully. So that's why um, it, it will, every time I call the play game method, it will fill up the deck with nine cards or however many cards are left before the deck is empty. Um, and I call print hand. So let's look at print hand. So I'm doing two things in print hand. I'm printing the hand in a very simple fashion. And I'm also uh, checking for uh, to see if there's a king, jack, queen, and king in the hand. So uh, I have a loop here which goes to cards.size, right? Remember always to use the size method of the array list class or the length method of the array class or the uh, length parentheses method of the uh, string class instead of using a numeric uh, constant here, right? Literal, numeric literal, like the digit 10 or 9. You always use the method to get it. It makes your code much more flexible and less buggy, less likely to, to be buggy. 
So here I pull out uh, one at a time. I get the card. I get its point value. That's a method of the card class that gives me the point value of the card. Uh, jacks are 11, queens are 12, and kings are 13. I store that in card value here. If card value is less than 10, I simply output the card value with a print, not printlin. Else if card value equals 11, that's a jack, I output a j, and I say j equals true. Same thing with queens and kings, and I do a printlin. Right, that's, the print one is actually after the loop, so it prints them all out and then um, does a return. Prints them all out with a space between them. Okay. Now I do my check for seeing uh, if there's a j, if j is true, and q is true, and k is true. Right, those, those would have been set to true if, in going through the hand, it found a jack and a queen and a king. I call a method called remove jqk. Right, so let's look at that. Remove jqt. I declare an integer called card value. Now I declare locally, these are local variables, booleans j, q, and k. Right, these are different from the field variables. This.j, this.q, this.k. I have to use this in this case to, to differentiate the field variables, which are global throughout the class, from these local variables. Now, I could have used different names, but I wanted to review here the use of this, right? So this is always referring to the, the, the fields of the class. Um, okay, so very simple here. We go through, in this case, we're going down, cards.size minus one, down to zero. Why backwards? Because remember that when you remove an element from an array list, everything shuffles down. So to make it simple, if we start at the end, if we're deleting elements and we start at the end and come down looking for things, then we're not going to miss something by having things shuffle down underneath us, so to speak, as we've, as we've removed something. The, everything else shuffles down into that spot, and then if the loop moves on past that spot, we don't check what shuffled down into the spot. Okay? By starting at the end and coming back towards the beginning, we eliminate that problem. There are other ways to do it. This is one way. Okay. We get a particular card at the position. If J, remember this is, we set, this is the local J, is true, we know, because we're in this method, that there is a jack, queen, and king. That's why I said the local jqk is all to true. If j is true, if this, if this happens to be a, and card value equals 11, meaning we haven't already deleted a j, we set j to false so that we won't delete any other jacks, and we remove the, that card, right? Else if this card is, is a queen, and, and q is true, and we set q to false and remove the queen. Same thing with king, right? We set k equals false, and again, this is the local local k, and uh, and remove it. So that that's all there, simply so that we only remove one, right? So that's that's the code. Let's test it. So we'll make it a new 11s object, and we call play game, and um, so we print it. Uh, oh, let's just look back at this. So we print it. We, I, we jump down to remove jqk here. So after calling jqk, we print it again. And this code down here removes the existing cards uh, so that I can get another set of nine cards which might have the jack, queen, king. So this is just really for testing to see if my remove jack queen king works. Okay, so uh, let's do it again. There's no jack queen king, so I'll do it again. Oh, okay. There's a queen, king, and a jack. So it has successfully removed them, and there are three slots which I could fill up from the deck, and that's what I'll be working on tomorrow.
what I want you to work on tomorrow. Uh, that and the final piece of this, which is looking for 11s and removing 11s. Okay, so uh, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.